Hi, and welcome to an expanded information video covering Alert Service Bulletin ASB 912-062-914-044. This mandatory alert bulletin covers the checking of the cylinder heads of cylinder number 2 and cylinder number 3 for oil leaks in the intake port area. In this video, we will help clarify which particular engines are affected and how to inspect for possible leakage. Before I get into the specifics of the bulletin, let's have a quick look at the serial number ranges of engines affected by this alert service bulletin. In section 1.1 of the bulletin, Applicability, you will find a list of specific serial number ranges for each engine type. As a manufacturer of both certified and non-certified aircraft engines, Rotax must separate certified engine bulletins from non-certified. Certified aircraft engines such as 912A, 912F, 912S, and 914F will be listed in Section 1.1 of Alert Service Bulletin ASB 912-062-914-044. Non-certified or UL engines will be listed in Section 1.1 of Alert Service Bulletin ASB 912-062. 914-044-UL. The UL designates the non-certified bulletin. Make sure you check the appropriate bulletin depending on whether your engine is certified or non-certified. If you're not certain whether your engine is certified or not, an easy way to tell is the color of the engine's serial number plate. If it is black in color, the engine is non-certified or UL and will be marked as an engine type of 912UL, for example. If the engine is certified, the serial number tag will be red in color and will be marked with an engine type of 912F, for example. So, let's say that my engine serial number tag is black. It states that it is an engine type of 912ULS and it has a serial number of 6781182. In this case, I will look at Alert Service Bulletin ASB 912062 ul which covers non-certified or UL engines. Checking in Section 1.1 under Engine Type of 912ULS, I see that this serial number does not fall within the serial number range listed. Therefore, my engine is not affected. If, after checking your serial number against the appropriate engine type serial number range on the appropriate alert service bulletin, you find that your engine is affected, a check of the cylinder heads must be performed before the next flight. Follow along with this video to find out more specifics about the bulletin and how to check your engine. Rotax has found that a limited production run of cylinder head assemblies used for cylinders number 2 and number 3 on 912 series and 914 aircraft engines may have an opening between the intake port and the valve guide area beneath the valve cover. This can lead to very high oil consumption in the corresponding cylinder, fouling the spark plugs and potentially causing rough running, high mag drops, and blue smoke from burned oil going through the exhaust. In this cutaway of a 912 cylinder head, you can see the intake port area in yellow. Just above the intake port, you can see the intake valve and guide, and above that, the area under the valve cover in green. The red area in between is the aluminum material of the cylinder head casting. In some cases, the machining for the valve guide, valve spring, and shim may cut through into the intake port area, allowing an oil leak into the intake port. As per Section 3.1 of the Alert Service Bulletin, checking for an oil leak in this area is simple and straightforward. Check the spark plugs on cylinder number 2 
and cylinder number 3. A spark plug from a normally running cylinder will be dry and light brown in color. A spark plug that is run in a cylinder which has ingested oil will be black and oily. If the cylinder head has a pathway for oil between the area under the valve cover and the intake port area, spark plug fouling such as this can occur within 15 minutes of engine run time. Now, all new engines are dyno test run before leaving the factory. If a new engine is affected by this cylinder head anomaly, the corresponding spark plugs will have evidence of oil fouling from the dyno factory run. So, even if you have a new engine in a box that's never been run, this check of the spark plugs is still a valid method of checking for this potential cylinder head issue. If the spark plugs in cylinder number 2 and cylinder number 3 are clean, then the engine in question is not affected. And the alert service bulletin can be entered into the engine logbook as complied with and that no defects were found. If the spark plug inspection shows heavy oil fouling, then the corresponding cylinder head must be replaced. For replacement of the cylinder head, it's highly recommended that the work be performed by a trained and properly equipped Rotax service center, repair center, or an IRMT technician. A list of service centers and repair centers can be found on the Rotax owner website by using the top menu and clicking on Support and Find Service. Instructions for the removal and reinstallation of cylinder heads can be found in the Rotax Heavy Maintenance Manual. All manuals are available for download at rotaxowner.com by using the top menu and clicking on Support and Engine Manuals. Fortunately, the serial number ranges of engines possibly affected is relatively low. In checking with several Rotax distributors, many of the affected engines have already been checked before being distributed to OEMs or end-use customers. In such cases, an appropriate entry showing compliance to this alert service bulletin should be entered into the engine logbook. If there is no logbook entry showing that your engine has already met compliance, then you must perform the checks and make the appropriate log entry yourself. If you have any questions as to whether your engine is affected or how to properly check your engine, contact your nearest service center, repair center, or trained IRMT technician. If you have any comments or suggestions, email us at videos at rotaxowner.com.